ever wonder how big the universe is or how small we are in comparison? The scale of the universe is truly startling. It's a vast expanse that stretches from the minuscule subatomic particles to the immeasurable observable universe. Size, as we know it, takes on a whole new meaning when we start comparing ourselves to the cosmos. It's a concept that challenges our perception and humbles us to our core. So, are you ready? Hold that thought as we embark on this cosmic journey from the smallest to the largest. At the very bottom of the size scale, we find the smallest known particle, the Planck length. This isn't your average particle, it's the theoretical limit beyond which the very notions of space and time cease to exist as we know them. Named after Max Planck, the father of quantum theory, the Planck length measures a mind-bogglingly small 100 millionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a meter. In the realm of the infinitesimal, the Planck length is the yardstick against which all else is measured. It's smaller than an atom, smaller than a proton, even smaller than a quark. It's in this quantum world that the Planck length reigns supreme, a world where common sense physics gets turned on its head. So, next time you feel small, remember the Planck length. It's so small, it's hard to imagine. But it's the starting point of our journey. The atoms, the fundamental building blocks of everything we see, touch, smell and taste. They're so tiny that around 100 million atoms would fit across the width of a single human hair. Each atom is made up of even smaller particles, protons, neutrons and electrons. Yet, despite their minuscule size, atoms make up the universe. Now imagine billions of these atoms coming together. They combine and interact, forming molecules, which in turn unit of life, the basic building blocks of all living organisms. A single human cell, while still microscopic, is a bustling microcosm of activity with structures and processes that keep us alive. Each cell is a marvel of complexity, packed with billions of atoms that work together to perform the functions of life. From the DNA in the nucleus that carries our genetic code, to the mitochondria that provide energy, to the cell membrane that controls what goes in and out, each cell is a universe in itself. Yet, even with their complexity, cells are just the beginning. Trillions of these cells come together to form tissues, which combine to form organs. These organs then work together in an intricate symphony of processes to form a complete function. We are the result of an unimaginable number of atoms organized into cells, tissues and organs. We are the product of billions of years our of nature and the laws of physics. So in the grand scheme of things, we are quite small, but the universe gets much, much bigger. Now, let's expand our view to our home, the Earth and its neighborhood, the solar system. Picture this, the Earth, our home, is a mere speck in the vast expanse of the universe. It's about 8,000 miles in diameter. Sounds big, right? But let's put things into perspective. If we were to shrink the Earth down to the size of a basketball, our entire solar system, with all its planets, moons, asteroids, and comets, would stretch out over 25 miles. And yet, within this vast solar system, the Earth is the one spot teeming with life, a blue jewel in a sea of darkness. Now, let's talk about distances. The average distance between the Earth and the Moon is about 239,000 miles. To put that into perspective, you could fit all the planets in our solar system lined up side by side in this gap. Yes, that's right, all of them. But what about the distance between Earth and the Sun? That's a whopping 93 million miles. If you were to drive at a constant speed of 60 miles per hour, it would take you around 176 years to reach the Sun. Yet, this vast distance is nothing compared to the size of the Sun itself. The Sun is so enormous that over one million Earths could fit inside it. Its sheer size is mind-boggling and it's a stark reminder of how small we are in the grand scheme of things. But remember, the solar system is just our local neighborhood. 
Beyond it lie countless stars, galaxies, and other celestial wonders waiting to be explored. The universe is a vast, infinite expanse, and the more we learn about it, the more we realize just how small we are. We've covered a lot of ground, but we're just getting started. Beyond the confines of our solar system, we find ourselves in a much larger neighborhood, our galaxy, the Milky Way. Imagine a spinning disk of stars, dust and gas stretching across a mind-boggling 100,000 light years. That's our Milky Way, home to an estimated 200 to 400 billion stars, each with their own potential systems of planets, asteroids and comets. Our solar system, with our Sun and the Earth, resides in one of the galaxy's outer spiral arms called the Orion Arm. We're about 26,000 light years away from the galactic center. So, if you were to travel at the speed of light, it would take you 26,000 years to reach the heart of the Milky Way. Our galaxy is a spiral galaxy, characterized by its beautiful swirling arms. At the center of this spiral, there's a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A asterisk. This black hole is about 4 million times the mass of our sun. But don't worry, we're far enough away to be safe from its gravitational pull. But the Milky Way is not alone in the universe. It's part of what's known as the Local Group, a collection of more than 50 galaxies spread over a region about 10 million light years across. Our closest galactic neighbor is the Andromeda Galaxy, a mere two and a half million light years away. In cosmic terms, that's just next door. Just like our neighborhoods on Earth, our galactic neighborhood is a bustling place full of variety from dwarf galaxies to spiral galaxies like our own. Each of these galaxies is a universe in itself with countless stars and planets possibly teeming with life. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember you're not just looking at stars, you're looking at our vast cosmic neighborhood. The Milky Way, with its hundreds of billions of stars, is our home in the universe. Our galaxy is but a speck in the cosmos. Ready to go further? Finally, we reach the largest scale that we can observe, the observable universe. A cosmic expanse that stretches beyond imagination, the observable universe is the grand tapestry where all the galaxies, stars, planets and space that we can see from Earth exist. Now, you may wonder, how large is this observable universe? Well, it's about 93 billion light years in diameter. That's a nine followed by 23 zeros in miles. It's a number so large that our human minds struggle to fathom it. But let's try to put it in perspective. If we were to scale the observable universe down to the size of Earth, then on that scale, a human would be smaller than an atom. That's how vast the observable universe is. And within this massive expanse, there are at least 2 trillion galaxies. Yes, you heard that right. 2 trillion, each teeming with billions, often hundreds of billions of stars. Each star potentially hosting planetary systems. And who knows, perhaps life in forms we can't even begin to imagine. Now let's talk about the term observable. Why is it called the observable universe and not just the universe? Well, that's because the universe itself is likely much larger, possibly even infinite. However, due to the speed of light and the age of the universe, there's a limit to how far we can see. Light from stars and galaxies beyond this limit hasn't had the time to reach us yet. So, while they exist, they remain unobservable, hidden beyond the cosmic horizon. As we gaze out into the universe, we're not just looking through space, but also time. The light from a distant galaxy took billions of years to reach us. So, we're seeing these galaxies as they were billions of years ago, not as they are today. In a way, the universe is like a giant time machine, showing us a glimpse of the past as we look deeper into space. Our journey ends here, at the edge of the known universe. From the smallest particle to the vast cosmos, we've traversed scales that boggle the mind.